Hello, church. I hope that you are all uh, doing well today, uh, that you're staying healthy and safe um, and just staying uplifted in the Lord and just uh, really taking time these days to uh, just to stay grounded in the Lord and, and his, uh, his message. Um, it's a privilege to be able to share with you today. Um, and I am going to do something just a little different than maybe some of the other uh, Wednesday devotional sessions have been. Um, I am going to share a little bit, um, kind of a, my personal experience this last couple of weeks. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm, I'm coming out of a little bit of a, of a dark period. Uh, there's been just a few things in my life that, that have happened um, recently that um, sort of one thing after the other. Um, and, and it's kind of left me feeling a little bit um, emotionally and uh, and mentally kind of kind of beat up a little bit. Um, you know, I was I was trying to stay in the Lord. I was um, I was reading my devotions and 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 doing my prayers. But uh, again, if I'm honest, I just uh, sort of felt this this kind of dark cloud. Um, that was around me. And, uh, you know, that, that just kind of crept into my life in, in all facets during that time. Um, so I knew, um, that I did want to share with you all and, and, you know, that mindset kind of, kind of made me nervous about today. Um, I started praying to, to God about, you know, what he would have me share. Um, I started several different um, verses, several different passages. Um, I was trying to listen to, to what the Lord had put on my heart, and, and there just wasn't anything real specific. Um, nothing, nothing was really standing out. Uh, I do commute to work every day to Lexington, and, I, and I've got a little bit of a drive. And I try to, uh, to put on Spirit FM in the morning to kind of, kind of lift me up. Um, get me in the mindset of uh, praise and thanksgiving, and um, well, this morning it, it it really it really came clear. Um, Chris Tomlin's um, "Forever" came on the radio, and you know I was just really uh, having a time of worship with that song on my way to work. And uh, as you know, that's that's straight out of Psalm 118. Um, so when I got to work, I, uh, I read that psalm in its entirety, and it, it just really spoke um, to where I was at. Uh, the psalmist, um, you know, gives praise. Uh, he gives testimony um, about where the, the Lord has, has brought him out of. Um, and then, you know, he recalls um, and looks forward to a time of entering the gates um, you know, the triumphant gates with Thanksgiving. And, and, and that day, uh, that, it just really turned my whole mindset around. So I hope that this blesses you. Um, this psalm is, is probably one that you're all familiar with. It's a little bit longer of a psalm. It's, it's 29 verses. Um, but there's so much music that comes out of this, you know, um, being on the praise team, you know, we've, we've done several songs that, that come right out of Psalm 118. And, and I'm going to reference these a little bit. Um, it is a long Psalm and it's, it's great. I, I really don't feel like it needs a whole lot of devotion. I'm just going to try to take it a few sections at a time and unpack just a few little points. Um, but it's, it's so beautiful and so rich on its own. Um, I, I don't think uh, anything that I add could could be more than just the words that are on the page. So, so here we go. I'm going to start <clears throat> at the beginning here. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let all Israel repeat, His faithful love endures forever. Let Aaron's descendants, the priests, repeat, his faithful love endures forever. Let all who fear the Lord repeat, His faithful love endures forever. You know, this, this little section here, it's, um, there's a calling for the whole congregation to praise the Lord. You know, the, the three classes, the whole house of Israel, including the priests, 
um, and, and all those who fear God to, to just declare, um, you know, Chris Tomlin's song, the, the lyrics, um, the, the verse is exactly this. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. The chorus is forever. God is faithful forever. God is strong forever. God is with us forever. So starting with first, um, continuing with verse five, the psalmist says, In my distress, I prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I look in triumph at those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than trust in people. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust even princes. And so this portion, I feel like the psalmist is, this is his testimony. Um, he's calling out, out to the Lord. And, and the beauty of that is, you know, we do have access to the Lord through the blood of Jesus. We're not alone. We're never alone. All we have to do is humble ourselves and call on our Heavenly Father, and He will answer us. And, you know, if I'm just, if I'm, you know, calling another Chris Tomlin song, you know, there's the the song, A Good, Good Father. You know, I mean, I, I feel like that's what this psalmist is saying right now. You know, Father, um, you know, let, let me come to you. You know, he also says, um, it is better to trust in the Lord than to trust in people. I mean, isn't that so true? You know, I mean, if we put our confidence in man, humankind, mankind, it, it's, we're going to get let down at one time or another. Even if we, even if we call out to, you know, this, this says it's better to trust in the Lord than to trust in princes. Um, these are men of high estate, uh, the highest rank. Uh, they're wealthy in mercy and power. Um, but they still are going to fail us. Our Heavenly Father will not do that. And that is just such a comfort. So we're at verse 10 now. Though hostile nations surround me, I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. Yes, they surrounded and attacked me, but I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. They swarmed around me like bees. They blazed against me like a crackling fire, but I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. My enemies did their best to kill me, but the Lord rescued me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. You know, I just, I just love that image of um, just being surrounded. You know, things can come at us constantly, can't they? You know, I mean, we, all we have to do is, is look on social media or, or turn on our, our news, and we, we, we do hear this negativity. Um, it is easy to feel surrounded um, and downcast by the world. Um, but this is the Lord is my strength and my song. You'll recall that um, that's also quoting um, Miriam's song from Exodus um, 15, verse 2. You know, when the Lord is their strength, it means that, that He's their resource, um, and our refuge. He's, he's some, someone we can cling to for our needs. Um, and he's never going to run out of um, adequacy. When the Lord is our song, that means um, he's our joy and our happiness. As a bit of a musician myself, I, I, music really, it's, it's really good for my soul. Uh, especially um, music that's that's in honor 
um, and in praise of, the, of our Heavenly Father. You know, we, when we think about uh, the Christ as our joy and our happiness, um, it really gives us uh, purpose. The Lord is also our salvation. We put our trust in Him, and we know that He has the power to deliver us from our situation. Moving on to uh, verse 15. Songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. The strong right arm of the Lord is raised in triumph. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. I will not die. Instead, I will live to tell what the Lord has done. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not let me die. You know, in in this section, um, verses 15 through 18, I believe the psalmist is, um, you know, rejoicing in that deliverance from death. You know, there's, there's several references to the right hand of the Lord. To me, that speaks to uh, the one who sits on the right hand of the Lord, and that's Jesus. You know, he's the one who ultimately delivered us from the death that we deserve. There, there's a little more in this, in this kind of section here. Uh, you know, it, it talks about being, um, being corrected. Um, I believe that that the word of the Lord, I believe um, if we listen to the Lord, if we um, if we congregate with others and and really unpack some of um, the text in the Bible, uh, there is correction there. You know, and again, just like just like a good father, you know, a good father is going to make sure we're okay. Um, You know, he's going to let us. Let us take our licks when we when we deserve it. Um, but he's there for us to 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 learn from and and for correction. Um, and you know, I think if we're honest, there's there's probably a number of the situations that we get in that we're crying out to the Lord to to deliver us from um, that we probably had a lot to do with ourselves. And you know, it's always good to kind of. To kind of have that introspection, you know, um, to humble yourself in front of the Lord and and really accept his correction. So 19 and 20, you know, this is this is the song I feel like um, of the great deliverer. This is what the psalmist is trying to say. So 19 says, open for me the gates where the righteous enter and I will go in and thank the Lord. These gates lead to the presence of the Lord and the godly enter here. You know, we we can be, you know, for for the sin that that we commit daily, you know, we can be righteous in in the Lord's eyes. Hallelujah. I mean, that's just amazing and, and very humbling to think about. You know, when I think about open the gates, um, I believe, you know, the psalmist probably thought about this triumphant um, entry into the holy city with with everyone just praising God, praising the Lord. Um, that image is is so moving to me. You know, I, I mean, it's I see the golden gates, I see the, you know, the clouds, um, I see our Father, you know, arms wide open in all of His Majesty. Um, I really like some of that imagery there. So we've covered we've covered quite a lot here. We're um, we're on the downhill. Uh, we're at verse twenty one. So twenty one says, "I thank you for entering my prayer and giving me victory. The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing." And it is wonderful to see. This is the day the Lord has made. 
we will rejoice and be glad in it. Again, I, I know this, this psalm is probably so familiar to, to many of you. Um, there's so many little nuggets, so many little verses that, uh, that we've heard time and time again that, that's repeated in the Bible. Um, I just think this, this, uh, this psalm is so rich. Um, so this, this, is, this section here is talking about you know, the cornerstone um, that we've heard. Um, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is um, Jesus quoting of himself. One, one place, there's, there's a few others, but one place that we hear this is um, Matthew uh, chapter 21, verse 42. The teachers of the law back then, you know, they, they rejected everything about Jesus. They didn't approve of, of where he came from. They didn't feel like he was smart enough, uh, mature enough uh, to be teaching. They had just a disgust of his complete uh, disregard for some of the traditions, um, the religious traditions specifically. And, you know, Jesus' friend of sinners, they certainly didn't approve of that. You know, we, we also see here that um, verse 23 says, this is the Lord's doing and how wonderful it is. Again, everyone rejected Jesus. His disciples left him in his time of need. You know, so we have no one really to, to, to thank for our salvation, you know, but Jesus and our Lord. He, he, he did it all. He paid it all. So lastly, when we're wrapping up here, um, verse 25 through 29. Please, Lord, please save us. Please, Lord, please give us success. Bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, shining upon us. Take the sacrifice and bind it with cords on the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever.